I'm attorney Nick Alcock. In this video, I'd like to talk about how the criminal court system works in Arizona. It's always a little bit risky to do a video like this because every court's a little bit different, but for sure there are some similarities in every court and there is some advice I can give you now that could be very, very helpful to you. And so while every case is different, I'm gonna give you my best shot at trying to help you, especially at the very beginning of the process, understand what's gonna to happen to you when you go to court. The first thing that you need to know is that that first court appearance is not a trial. Many people, when they show up in court, they're like, okay, they, they expect it to be like the movies. They're gonna walk in, there's the judge up high, there's the prosecutor, and everyone's staring at you as if uh, you know they've been waiting for you all day. That's not how it works. The vast majority of criminal cases uh, start in a big crowd. You walk into court, there's gonna be a big line of people, and nobody's really thinking about you too much, nobody really cares about you too much. So for your typical case, especially at the very beginning, um, you know, the, the person who walks in that court, the, the eyes are not gonna be on you. So I hope that lowers the temperature a little bit. You also have a little bit of time. So it's not as if there is a very high stakes hearing that's gonna happen within days of that first court appearance. Usually what happens, you show up in court and they give you another court appearance. They give you another date. People get confused and they say, well, what happens if I get in front of a judge and I say that I'm not guilty and then I change my mind? Will I get in trouble uh, if, for lying to the judge because I enter a plea of not guilty? And this is especially true in misdemeanor cases where you may not have an attorney, you're sitting there and you're watching people walk in front of the judge and say, yes, I'm guilty, your honor, and the judge is sentencing them right then and there. Uh, you don't have to say you're guilty. You don't have to enter a plea of guilty at the very beginning of a case, and that can't be used against you. You have rights, and you can wait to see what the evidence is. You can uh, wait to see what a lawyer can do for you. At first court appearance, uh, when you enter a plea of not guilty, that's not gonna be used against you. On occasion, at the very beginning of a case, they can make an offer to you, a plea offer, which is very favorable. There are some jurisdictions that will say, look, you know, you're here today, and if you want to take a plea agreement, you can enter this plea now. Um, usually, if that happens, they'll give you some amount of time again to say, look, you know, I'm not really sure this is the right thing. Can I come back in a week? And it doesn't hurt to ask, and usually they will give you that week so you can speak with an attorney and then come back uh, and, and know a lot more about what's happening with your case. The first aspect of a case is called discovery, and that's when you get the police reports, that's when you find out what the case is all about against you. So that first court setting is usually for the prosecutor to either give you or to give your attorney the police reports that were created. So when you come back, that's supposed to be done. In cases where they're not, the prosecutor's not seeking to put you in jail, you may not be entitled to an attorney. So you just might be there right by yourself. Say it's like a disorderly conduct case and the prosecutor has no interest in seeing you go to jail. Well, you may not get a public defender. You're gonna be there by yourself. And you know if the prosecutor isn't seeking jail, then you're not entitled to a public defender. This confuses people sometimes, but if you wanna hire a private attorney for those cases, you absolutely can. If you don't, then they won't give you a public defender. Once you know what your case is about, usually that's when they make a plea offer. So after you looked at the police reports, you know what the charges are, the prosecutor will say, okay, this is what we're offering. There usually is no penalty whatsoever for telling the prosecutor, look, again, I wanna think about it, give me a week, give me a month. On occasion, again, the prosecutor will say, no, it's take it or leave it now. Uh, but my experience has been usually prosecutors will, will stretch that out. The one exception would be for diversion deals, like a shoplifting case where they say, hey, if you wanna do these classes, we can make the case go away. We can do a diversion deal and then the whole case will be dismissed later. Every once in a while, those diversion pleas that are made, they are take it or leave it. So if uh, you have questions about that, you can always give us a call. We're happy to walk you through that process. After months, that's when the case gets set to trial. Uh, so again, what to expect when you go to criminal court? It's a process and the process is enter a plea of not guilty, get the evidence against you, think about what the plea offer is, then decide whether or not you wanna take that plea agreement. We could be four months down the line now. You decide then, you're at the fork of the road, do you take the plea agreement or do you go to a trial? And then if you don't take the plea agreement, then trial would be usually in a month or two. Uh, felony cases and especially complex cases, this process could stretch on for years. Misdemeanor cases, four months, five months, six months, that's about the timeline. So my advice to you is this, is that if you are facing criminal charges, don't panic, you have time, 
but take advantage of the time and take advantage of the fact that you can go and speak to an attorney. You can get police reports. You can learn more about what your case is all about. And so when you go into that court, you know exactly what to expect. That's why we offer a free and completely confidential consultation. It can be by phone. You don't have to come into the office and we'll really walk you through exactly what it is you're facing. The number 602-989-5000. That's 602-989-5000. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions about any criminal case or DUI in Arizona, we're here to help. Thanks so much.